Hi, everyone, and welcome to Fenwick and Trinity High School's virtual college fair. My name is Becca, and I'm going to be facilitating this event. Thank you so much for joining us. I just have a few housekeeping items before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions. We have one after this. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at strivescan.com backslash Friar Blazers. Now I'd like to turn it over to our presenters. So starting first, we have Beloit College. Take it away. All right. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for this awesome session of some great universities and colleges here. Um, my name is Yana Fritz. I'm an, I'm an admission counselor at Beloit College, um, but most importantly, I'm a very proud alum of Beloit. I graduated just recently in May of 2020, so a lot of the experiences I'll be sharing with you today were very uh, well lived by me and uh, very cherished dear in my heart. Um, but a little bit about Beloit. We are a small, small liberal arts college in Beloit, Wisconsin. Um, um, and we have a really, really cool um, and diverse population for sure. Um, you know, we have students from all kinds of backgrounds, um, economically, racially, and culturally with our high international student population. Um, you know, we have students come over from all over the world, from all over the country, and we're very happy with that. Um, and because of such a diverse population, we also have a, um, a diverse, you know, a kind of curious student body um, in their interest academically because you know they have so many different majors to choose from and a lot of them actually double major because they can't choose just one. Um, same goes for double minor. And you know we do so I think successfully with our um, high percentage of students that are continuing in grad school um, or in their career of their choice post grad from Beloit. So you know such curious minds um, really have such powerful futures. And you know we are so focused on our students um, and we're doing so by having a new program called our advanced mentoring program for advising, um, but also with our new career channels program. And what we do is really kind of having the special workshops, internships, and mentoring along your way from Beloit um, to help you in your career later on or in grad school or anything later on. So our advanced mentoring program is actually an, a cool promise to our students that within 72 hours of choosing Beloit, um, we are going to match you with an advisor that will be with you all the way from, you know, if you wanted to deposit today, you could come um, on Monday, you would have an advisor already, and um, they just help you kind of choose your classes and, and teach you how to college um, before you come here and while you're here for your first two years as well, or until you um, declare your major and get an, an academic advisor in that major. And our career channels are really guided towards um, kind of this specialty and in, in doing something with internships or just really hands-on experience within your major kind of that realms so like our arts overall is kind of all encompassing um, so hopefully we're getting our students out into the networking and all that with um, um, helping them in their career choices later on and we're you know we're so focused on our students in fact that our design or our campus is completely designed for our students um, and most importantly that is with our powerhouse it's our new student engagement or student uh, union and recreation center um, it was an old coal-powered energy plant and now it's completely this new health and wellness center new cafe with healthy food options um, amazing workout facilities all of that um, but also everything from athletics and clubs are also geared academically and just more fun um, completely towards you and your interests and everything that you want to um, accomplish while you're here. So, you know, our community has never mattered more uh, than right now during COVID. So we have, I think, had a very, very um, amazing reaction to um, the pandemic. We are actually named number five most innovative college in the country country for our um, plan, which is the Beloit Action Plan. Um, and it's kind of a set of academic, personal, and financial support programs for um, our students, you know, during COVID, um, but most importantly, our Midwest flagship match, which um, Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, all our different Midwest states are all part of and we promise to match the tuition of their flagship state university um so you know just making sure that a, a college is as financially um accessible to everyone in this time 
And also our statement of culture has been rewritten um, during our students and, and they wrote the behavioral expectations um, for campus life. So they knew exactly what rules they could follow and how they could do it successfully and well. Um, so if this sounds like you, if you are a trailblazer, if you think that you, know, you belong here at Beloit, um, we hopefully think that you do, um, you know, please consider applying. Um, this is just a snapshot of our admissions process here. We're very holistic when we review applications. So um, we look at more than just your GPA and your transcript. It's more of your essay, your letters of recommendations to see your, you know, who you are outside of the classroom, a little more of your character, um, some extracurricular activities that you're a part of. And we are very proudly test optional and we have been for a while now. So um, very, very happy with that. And um, here is my contact information. If you would like to get to know me, my email is on there. You can also call me. I'm in the office every day. Um, but also Karen Smith's contact information because she's actually the counselor that works with students from Fenwick and Trinity High Schools. Um, so I have her contact information in there as well. But we are very excited and we're looking forward to receiving your applications. Um, or if you're already admitted student to hopefully you choosing Beloit um, and coming here in the fall. See you then. Thank you. Thank you so much. Up next, we have Lawrence University. So sorry, when I shared my screen, I lost track of my controls. Um, hello, good morning, Fenwick and Trinity. Hopefully you can hear me. My name is Keegan White, uh, Associate Director of Admissions at Lawrence University. Uh, Lawrence is a small college of 1,500 students located three hours north of Illinois in beautiful Appleton, Wisconsin, the fifth largest city in Wisconsin. Imagine you took Oak Park, spread it out, put it on a bluff overlooking a river, that's Appleton. You'll find an airport and bus station that will get you to Chicago in about four hours and a bustling downtown with coffee shops, restaurants, farmer's market, museums, riverside trails, and a performing arts center that hosts uh, some of the biggest national touring Broadway shows every year. Lawrence is unique in that we are both a nationally ranked college of liberal arts and sciences and a highly selective music conservatory. Both are undergraduate only and our students pursue either a Bachelor of Arts degree in our college, a Bachelor of Music degree in our conservatory, or both through our five-year double degree program. Students are challenged and nurtured through personalized experiences in our small classes with a ton of faculty connections, thanks in part to our eight to one student to faculty ratio, which is one of the smallest in the country. We have a student body that's inherently curious, welcoming, engaged, and passionate about what they do. Faculty are equally engaged, not only with their own scholarship, but especially in their teaching. At Lawrence, we are small in number, but rich in people and resources, all deeply invested in the success of our students. The academic program at Lawrence is bookended by two quintessential scholarly experiences, first year studies and senior experience. First Year Studies is an expansive introduction to the liberal arts, which ensures that each student and faculty member is exposed to a diversity of subjects and perspectives and has an opportunity to learn, communicate, and expand their horizons. Senior Experience is the culmination of a Lawrence education, unique to each student, yet universal to students across the university. Every graduating senior produces something significant. It could be an independent or collaborative research project, art exhibition, scholarly paper, or senior recital. The point is that you're sharing your gifts and generating new knowledge and preparing for your next steps in life. The academic journey through the liberal arts teaches our students to be adaptable, to thrive in difficult circumstances, something we could all have used more of this year. Lawrence is a residential community with nearly 100% of our students living on campus all four years. And they live large, expanding or engaging in activities outside of the classroom with endless energy, enthusiasm, and panache. Here at Lawrence, we have all the amenities of a big school in a big city right outside our residence hall doors. NCAA Division III athletics, world-class music ensembles and theater productions, 150 student organizations, Suffice it to say, if you have a passion you, you want to pursue in college, you'll find an outlet here at Lawrence. 
In addition to our residential campus in Appleton, we have two satellite campuses. The first is this one, Bjorklinden, which is a beautiful lodge on Lake Michigan in Door County, Wisconsin, that really serves as a special place for getting away on the weekends as a retreat center. And then the second is um, our, our most popular of our 50 study abroad programs, our London Center. So um, suffice it to say, you're gonna, you're gonna have a global experience at Lawrence. Um, just a quick look at our, our average profile. We do a holistic review and um, we have an optional interview that's a great way for you to um, share your, about yourself and, and help me understand uh, your true fit and ability to be successful here at Lawrence. We also have some really generous financial aid policies um, that I don't have time to tell you about, but I hope to hear from you. Um, don't forget about me, your trustee admissions counselor. I'm a Lawrence alum, um, and I think you'll find that the attention that you receive from us at Lawrence is, is second to none. So we're open for uh, COVID compliant tours, and I look forward to meeting you and, and getting to know you. Uh, and with that, I will pass it to Providence College. Thank you so much, Keegan. As Keegan mentioned, next up we have Providence College. So take it away. All right. Good. Good day, everyone. Thanks for for tuning in to join us. Uh, my name is Owen Bly. I'm associate dean of admission at Providence College, uh, located in Rhode Island. Um, and happy to provide kind of a brief overview of who we are as an institution, and then hopefully you can kind of use the the Q and A to ask questions and and further engage with us. As far as size goes, we're about 4,000 students. Um, so we're kind of right in between for, for liberal arts college, we're a little bit bigger than many of them, but then for a, a major D1 school, we're, we're tiny. So nice size there. Um, as I mentioned, we are a liberal arts college. So we're, we're pretty traditional when it comes to that liberal arts core. And you'll find students taking classes kind of all throughout campus. So whether you are a finance major, you're going to be taking a science class, our philosophy majors are going to be taking quantitative reasoning and you can see a list of all the different programs that are available to students on the screen there and one thing i really sort of like to emphasize is that when you are applying for admission and admitted to providence you're admitted to the college on the whole you're not applying to a specific school or program or anything like that instead you're applying to providence and that really carries throughout your four years as well and kind of speaks to the, the culture of the type of students we have on campus. You'll find that even though a student may be studying finance in the business school, they still kind of appreciate taking those broader courses as well. Um, so 52 different majors that students can choose from. If you aren't sure what you want to do yet, that's fine. About a third of our students come in undeclared and, and you'll take 19 different courses by the time you actually have to choose. 4,200 students, like I mentioned, and just a couple hundred grad students. So the emphasis is really on the undergrads, and that mostly shows through when it comes to student research and opportunities to be published or present at conferences, all of those types of things um, that many places will go to graduate students. We, we don't have them, so it's the undergrads who, who get those opportunities. We're a Catholic college, and we're actually um, run by the Dominican Friars, which for our friends joining us from Fenwick, you are familiar with. You're the one high school, we're the one college. And so we have about 50 Friars who live right on campus, uh, about half teach, half in more administrative roles. Those who teach are kind of where you'd expect theology, philosophy, but there's also a biologist, an economist, a political scientist, so kind of some broad there. And then they're also involved in campus ministry and student life. but. It's definitely a big part of kind of who we are as an institution. And if you have kind of more questions about that, um, be certainly happy to answer those in the, the Q&A. We're a pretty active campus. Um, we're almost everyone lives on campus. And one of the things that I would say about student life to try and kind of summarize it is that our students, they almost care just as much about like the everything else as they do academics. So whether it be kind of a service project they're working on or their clubs meetings, if they have a big exam the next day, they're, they're not going to miss that. They're just going to stay up later to study for it. And that's, that's a big part of kind of the culture is kind of that work hard, play hard dynamic. And it's something that we really try and kind of maintain on campus. As I mentioned at the beginning, we are a division one institution. We're the smallest school in a major athletic conference. Um, so we're in the Big East Conference for almost all sports except hockey. Um, and one of the things I always like is when you look at our student section and compare it to these schools with tens of thousands of students, it, it relatively looks the same. So if you're looking for kind of that big spirited atmosphere, but know you wouldn't do well at a huge institution, then Providence may be a good fit for you. 
Um, you can see a list of all of our different programs that are available here, and all of them compete on campus with the exception of the men's basketball program, which competes in downtown Providence. Um, intramurals are also huge, so if you're just looking to stay active and not necessarily compete at the D1 level, we have a pretty robust intramural program as well as club sports, so lots of different ways to kind of stay, stay in shape. We're located in the city of Providence, um, so we are about five minutes from downtown Providence. So we have a very traditional kind of campus feel. You can walk from corner to corner in about 15 minutes. There's about 60 buildings or so on campus, and then the city is right there. And what's cool about Providence is it's kind of a younger college town. There's, uh, I believe, eight different college campuses. Actually, it says it right there in Providence. So it has this younger kind of college town vibe to it. Definitely a city that caters towards a younger group and kind of an artsy, funky city tool. Has a really kind of cool character to it. There's a lot of direct flights right from Chicago into Providence every day, so really easy to get to, and we're only about 15 minutes from the airport. So um, if you're looking to kind of leave the Midwest, um, but still be kind of able to get home in just two or three hours, then, then Providence could be a good fit for that. Um, one last thing I'll say is just kind of about the admission process, a few highlights. We are on the common application, so it's pretty straightforward for us. Um, the kind of quirk with us is that we are test optional. And I know many schools are kind of doing test optional now. We've been test optional for almost 15 years. And that kind of speaks to the, the philosophy of our review. We're gonna focus mostly on the work that you've done throughout high school, not on the tests. And so it is completely up to you if you wanna submit SAT or ACT scores when you're applying for admission. As far as financial aid goes, we do have a pretty robust merit scholarship program where about a third of our admitted students receive an offer of merit, but then we do put the bulk of our resources into need-based financial aid as well. And you can see some of the, the figures there, um, but certainly there's a lot of ways that we can kind of work with families to make Providence affordable. Also note for students from um, Fenwick, we do have one full tuition scholarship for a student each year enrolling in recognition of our shared Dominican heritage. Final piece I'll say is that um, I hope you engage with us. My colleague Megan's located in Chicago and we look forward to working with you. Thanks so much. Thanks, Owen. Up next, we have Marquette University. Hi everyone. Good morning. My name is Maya Rodriguez. I am a senior regional representative for Marquette University located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, we are about an hour and 30 minutes north from you. Um, if you are looking for a mid-sized institution, Marquette may be a really good fit. We are home to a little over 8,000 undergraduate students. Geographically, we're pretty diverse. We have students from nearly all 50 states and 70 different countries. And so if you want the opportunities, you would typically find a larger institution with that personalized attention that you would typically find um, at a smaller institution. Again, Marquette may be a place to call home for you. We have over 90 different majors um, categorized into seven different colleges. We are a direct entry institution which means that when you apply to Marquette, you're directly admitted into your program. And please know that if you are undecided, that is okay too. You can be undecided within one of our seven colleges, except for the College of Nursing. Some of our most popular majors include our Accelerated Physical Therapy Program. It's a six-year program where you can get your bachelor's and doctorate degree in six year. Um, we have a phenomenal business program as well. Um, we actually just announced that we are opening up a new business school um, the groundbreaking ceremony will be this month and the building will be up and running for fall of 2022. So ready for when you decide to come to campus, if you are interested in studying accounting, finance, real estate, um, entrepreneurship, um, lots of options. We have also one of the oldest co-op programs in the country. So if you're interested in engineering, um, you can certainly participate in the co-op and get a full-time job and a full-time salary. So those are just some of the programs I like to highlight. But again, we have so many programs and we're also known to be a liberal arts institution as well. We certainly want you to have a well-rounded education. We are a Jesuit Catholic institution. Um, we're one out of 27 Jesuit institutions in the country. And so with that being said, um, we certainly have a student body who is very engaged in service. So service is a big part of who we are as an institution. We do have more than 300 student organizations available and we certainly want you to get involved on campus. We want you to meet lifelong friendships. We want you to develop those leadership skills. 
And so it's certainly very important for you to get involved in those student organizations. Our academic experience and our, um, our social um, experiences that our students experience our campus are closely aligned to our location. So we are, again, located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, similar to our campus size, Milwaukee is also a mid-sized city. There are so many opportunities that you will get as a Marquette student um, in the city of Milwaukee. Milwaukee's home to five Fortune 500 companies. So if you're looking for those internship opportunities, you're certainly going to get them, um, whether that's in uh, Milwaukee or maybe back home in the Chicagoland area. We have such a large alumni network. Um, and you probably saw on the previous screen that we are actually um, six in the nation for job placement. So certainly we want to provide you with the tools and the skills to, to be successful while you are an undergraduate student so that you are well prepared beyond graduation. We are a Division I institution. Uh, we compete in the Big East Conference through the NCAA. So similar to our friends at Providence, we're also in that same division. Um, this is a great picture of the Pfizer Forum, which is where the Milwaukee Bucks team plays. It's also where our men's basketball team plays. So if you're a big sports fan and you're looking for a school that has school spirit, um, Marquette may be a really good fit for you. If you are an athlete and you wanna play in college, we do have club sports and then the real sports that you can also um, participate in. I love our club sports because we have a wide variety and um, we have soccer, we have basketball, we have volleyball, but we also have Quidditch, fencing, rock climbing, inner tube water polo. So there are a lot of great um, ways for you to get involved through our recreational centers on campus. A little bit about the admissions process, and I'm sure I'm going to go through this really briefly because I also want to be mindful of our time. But um, when you think about the college search process, we really think about it in terms of fit, and we think about it in terms of academic fit, financial fit, and personal fit. And we want to make sure that if you are considering Marquette, that we meet your needs, that you feel like you matter in our community. When we review you for admission, we do have a holistic review process. So we take everything into consideration um, in your application, um, not only the quantitative factors, Factors, but the qualitative factors, factors as well. So we really do care about your essay. We care about the um, activities that you are currently participating in. And we also are test optional. So it's your choice if you want to submit a test score or not. Um, if you are interested in submitting a test score, our middle 50% for SAT is 1160 to 1340. And our middle 50% um, for ACT is 25 to 30. So um, if you do plan to submit a test score, those are our middle 50%. But again, all of our programs are test optional, so it's your choice. Um, and I won't go into the weeds of financial aid or anything like that, but please know that you can always reach out to me. I am your admissions counselor, and I'd be happy to go through the financial aid process with you as well, more in depth of the application process. My last bit of advice for you all is to stay connected with us. We do have a lot of virtual opportunities available. We have a wonderful um, web page that has virtual department visits, virtual counselor appointments. We have virtual open houses every month that you can participate in. That QR code that you see on your screen, if you have a phone with you, feel free to just take a picture of that. It will take you directly to our campus tour. And if you have any other questions, feel free to go ahead and put it in the Q&A chat. Thanks so much, everyone. Thanks, Myra. Up next, we have St. Olaf College. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> My name is Dr. Reginald Miles, and I, am, I serve as the Associate Dean of Admissions at St. Olaf College. We're so excited to talk to you all today about our institution. Let's see here. Okay, let's see. Having some computer problems. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's do this. And you can just leave it like that if that's easier oh, for you. Yeah, yeah, no okay. worries, no so worries. So let's get started. So fun fact, we are 146 years old. We were actually founded in 1874 by Norwegian American immigrants. So our campus right now is 300 acres and we have been named one of the most beautiful campuses in the country. Now, this is a photograph that you see right here. We are located in Northfield, Minnesota, which is about 45 minutes outside the Twin Cities in the lovely state of Minnesota. So you may have heard that Minnesota is known to the Mall of America, if you like to shop. 
Minnesota State Fair, skiing, hiking, biking, very outdoorsy along with the Minnesota Zoo. Again, 45 minutes south of Minneapolis, St. Paul, you run into Northfield. In Northfield, there are two colleges located there at Northfield. St. Olaf is one of them. And so in Northfield, it's a very artsy environment. There's a lot of shops, antiques, cafes, live music, along with an exciting opportunity for our students. Students can actually travel to the Minneapolis St. Paul area. Um, we have buses going to Mall of America, great downtown area. So our campus, <clears throat> we have about 3,000 students on our campus from all backgrounds. 10% of our students are international. 60% of our students are from out of state. Now the photograph that you see right here, you can see the representation of our students. Now today we have about 22% of our students who identifies having a diverse background. This number is higher than what it has been in previous years. And we still know that we have a lot of work to do. So our, to be very transparent, our campus is predominantly white and we are looking for like-minded individuals who encompass the same values when it comes to equity and, and inclusion and diversity as we plan to increase our multicultural numbers on our campus. Now, when it comes to our academics, you know, St. Olaf is a very, it's great because it's a small liberal arts institution with over 85 majors, programs, and concentrations. One, Another fun fact is we don't offer minors, we call them concentrations. Students can actually explore academics and exercise science, environmental studies, film and media, political science, English, Latin American studies. Concentrations include Asian studies, film and media studies, management studies. We, our calendar is very unique. We have a four, one, four, one, and four calendar, meaning you only take four classes in the fall semester. During the month of January, you take one class or you participate in an internship opportunity. And then in the spring semester, you take four classes. Now, when it comes to our campus, we have <clears throat> about 95% of our students living on campus. It's a very residential community. We have 11 residence halls. We have 19 honors and language houses. So if you wanna speak Spanish 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you have the opportunity to do so in our language speaking house. Our dining hall has been ranked for its food. It's absolutely outstanding. Always recommend students, our visitors to check it out. Even our, you can find faculty members inside the dining hall engaging with our students. We have over 200 clubs and organizations, things ranging from student government, LGBTQ+, service organizations, political, academic disciplines, et cetera. So if there's something that you are interested in seeking and we don't have, you can actually create your own. We also have Carlton College, which, which is the other college in Northfield that we actually partner when it comes to events and sporting activities. Our Taylor Center for Equity and Inclusion is the hub for our students as a resource for them when it comes to having having an organization on our campus as a, as a hub, a support network where we have organizations, we have programs and events and clubs really helping these students on our campus, our multicultural students feel at home. We have many events that take place throughout this organization, throughout this, throughout the center. And um, we always encourage our students to get involved. We have first year programs. We have minority association for pre-med students. Another great thing about St. Olaf is study abroad. So if you wanna study abroad, go to Australia, Spain, New Zealand. We have many programs in over 100, in over 100 programs in 41 different countries. And it's highly recommended as we are ranked number one for our study abroad. Now, you may not know this, but we are a big school, we're a big school when it comes to fine and performing arts. We have dance companies, art galleries, less, Last year, we had Mamma Mia and um, our Christmas festival, as you can see in the photograph right here. So it's really a great way for the community to get involved and check out what we have to offer when it comes to our fine and performing arts. And one third of our student population participates in our fine and performing arts. Now, if you love sports, we are division three when it comes to varsity sports. 
you know, basketball, we have alpine skiing, we have swimming. If you actually want to participate in club sports, you have the option to do so. And 75% of our students participate in intramurals. Now, when it comes to what are we looking for when applying in the process, we actually are looking for the well-rounded student. We're on the Common App. We're test optional. We offer interviews, which we highly recommend. And we are 100% committed to meeting need of students. So please, I encourage you all to go onto our website and get connected with us. And hopefully we will see you on campus at St. Olaf College. Thank you. Thanks, Reginald. Last but certainly not least, we have Lake Forest College. All right, thank you very much. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen here. All right, so my name is Annie Keller. My pronouns are she, her, hers. And I'm an admission counselor here at Lake Forest College. And I'm also a recent alumna. I graduated from here in 2020 as well. Um, so I'm excited to get connected with you all, both as your admission counselor um, and from the student perspective as an alumna. So I wanted to share a quick, um, you know, a couple of fun, fun facts and quick stats about Lake Forest. We are a small private liberal arts institution located in Lake Forest, Illinois. Lake Forest is located 30 miles north of the city of Chicago. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more later on about all the opportunities that we have for students in the city of Chicago. In addition, we have roughly half of our students from uh, representing in-state Illinois um, and the other half coming from um, either out of state or um, their international students. Um, we have uh, just under 1600 students in total for a student body and we represent about 43 states and 96 countries. Um, in addition, students can earn up to $30,000 in a merit-based scholarship. And I'll show you the grid um, and talk a little bit more about financial aid as well with that grid later on. Um, we also have a 98% career placement rate, which means 98% of our graduates within six months of graduating find a job or go to graduate school or pursue another post-collegiate uh, professional opportunity such as Teach America or the Peace Corps. Um, in addition, we have um, over 50 majors and minors on our campus um, and a 12 to one student faculty ratio. Um, so with a really small campus environment and a really small class setting, um, it's really easy to get connected with our faculty as well. Um, in addition to that too, um, we have our uh, merit-based scholarship grid for you. Um, for need-based aid, we do accept the FAFSA and CSS profile, and we do have additional financial aid forms for students who may be undocumented or for whatever other reason cannot fill out the FAFSA or CSS profile. Um, if that applies to you, we can definitely have an individual conversation about that too, since I am your counselor. So our merit-based scholarship, again, we award up to $30,000. And you can see reliably what you would qualify for based on this grid here. And we'll take either a weighted GPA or a test score. We are proudly test optional. We've been test optional for over a decade now. Um, so you can take either or, and we're always gonna give you the better deal. So if your weighted GPA is better than your test score or vice versa, we're gonna give you the better deal on this grid. In addition, we also have a $2,000 visit grant per year by either attending a virtual college fair like this one um, or by visiting campus in person. So if you asked me to boil down Lake Forest into four essential pillars, um, I'd say these are your four. Um, you are getting a pragmatic liberal arts education throughout your four years here. You're getting strong career preparation starting day one on campus. Um, you, you also have lots of access to the city of Chicago. Again, we're only 30 miles north of the city and you're engaging and interacting with a really diverse student community here. So for the liberal arts, in case you don't know what the liberal arts means, um, the liberal arts education here is going to encourage you to take a variety of classes that are maybe outside of your major or collaborating with your major. Um, and again, similar to other colleges um, that just presented, you are applying to the college itself, not a specific academic program. Um, so you kind of have free reign of um, any of the 50 majors and minors that we offer. So you're gonna be encouraged to take a wide variety of classes. In addition, you're gonna be engaging with lots of experiential learning opportunities, such as doing research with faculty on campus or off campus. You're going to be conducting internships throughout your time here. Over 86% um, over of our students conduct an internship within their four years here at the college. Um, and you're also going to have lots of robust uh, study abroad opportunities as well. So engaging all these things to make you more well-rounded professional after graduation and a better student during your four years here. 
We will also have strong access to career preparation as well. We have twice the average national um, number of staff members in our career advancement center um, that are ready to work with you day one again. Um, and so we have a number of specific pathways you can opt into. You can kind of mix and match um, based on whatever your, your professional career, career goals are after graduation. Um, in addition, we have a Metro train station that's just a 15 minute walk away from campus that takes you right into the city of Chicago. Um, it's a super easy trip down there over, um, we take over 200 field trips per year into the city with our classes alone with um, a large alumni network and um, lots of jobs and internships to engage with. We're also a really diverse community as well. Um, over 30% of our students identify as students of color um, and over 36% of our current first year class identifies as first generation. Um, so we have lots of resources for students as well. Um, we are diverse in every sense of the word, which means racially, ethnically, socioeconomically, and geographically too. So if you're interested in learning more, um, we are open for personal visits to campus, um, COVID compliant, of course, um, but you can come see campus in person um, or any of the opportunities that we offer in person, you can also do virtually from the comfort of your own home. Um, so you can take a virtual tour of campus, you can chat with me virtually, um, whatever you need to do to learn more about us. And then lastly, here's my contact information. Again, my name is Annie Keller. Um, I am your admission counselor. Um, my email is below and you can call or text me at that number too if you're interested in connecting. But in the meantime, I look forward to meeting some of you if you're interested in Lake Forest in the next couple months. Thank you. Thanks, Annie. All right, I'm going to share my screen. We have one more quick fun thing to do together. All right, so I'm going to have the representatives all come back on their cameras and one by one share one fun or interesting fact about your schools. Um, so we will go in the order in which you presented. So we'll start with Beloit College. Right. Um, well, for those of you who don't know, we actually have two teaching museums on campus, and one of them is our Logan Museum of Anthropology. And it's very famous, and our anthropology program is famous because we have um, an alum and an old professor of the college named Roy Chapman Andrews, um, who is rumored to uh, inspire the character of Indiana Jones. And I'm a huge archaeology fan, and um, just I like Harrison Ford in general, so that's always a fun fact for me. Love that. Lawrence <laughs> University. Yeah, uh, our, we have a group of students called the, the Trivia Masters that run the longest running, longest continuous running trivia contest in the world, so we think, um, that happens every February. And, uh, and it's sort of like, it, it starts with the last question of the previous year. And so, so it's been running for like 50 hours over a weekend every February since the 60s. Um, and it's just a really fun goofy, silly thing, an opportunity for, for students and alumni uh, alike to, to just do silly trivia and, and there are action questions so people dress up or, or perform, you know, Shakespeare on the, on the steps of the president's house or any number of goofy things. And it's, it's just a, a fun time to kind of uh, break up the winter. I was going to say perfect for February. Uh, Providence College. Great, thank you. I think one kind of interesting fact about us is that we were actually the first college in the country to offer a major in community service, um, which uses a service-based learning model, um, a lot of kind of looking at how service impacts the communities it's in, as well as direct working with community organizations. But back 20 years ago, we were one of the first, we were the first college to do it. And it's also a minor and a lot of students use that to add their social justice slant towards their studies. But that's certainly a, an interesting program and a, a fun fact about PC. Nice. Thanks, Owen. Marquette. Hi, thanks. So because we're in the month of March and it's Women's History Month, and I also identify as a woman, um, my fun fact about Marquette is that we were the first Catholic university to admit women. Um, and so I think that's really important to share and a fun fact that I, as a Marquette alum, I'm very proud of. Nice. St. Olaf College. Yes, one, the fun fact, I, I think I shared it in my presentation, but I, I want to reiterate it because I think it's very important and it is fun um, that St. Olaf College is, you know, when it comes to students being admitted and being accepted and when it comes to finance, the financial part of everything, we are 100% um, 
committed to meeting demonstrated financial need. And that's something that we really take pride in. Thank you. Nice. And Lake Forest College. I have two quick ones. Um, the first being that one of our largest student um, run events on campus every single year for almost a decade now has been uh, the drag show. We invite uh, professional Chicago drag queens to uh, come perform for us for an evening. And we do actually have some guests that were on RuPaul's Drag Race uh, to come join us each year, which is really cool. Um, the other really quick fact is that um, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, some of the opening scenes of that movie were filmed right in town, um, right outside of Lake Forest College. It's like a 10 minute walk away. And a lot of, um, you know, a lot of those movies uh, were filmed on the North Shore too. So it's always a cool kind of tour to um, look at some John Hughes movies um, and filming locations. So yeah. I'm going to hold back my Ferris Bueller quotes for now. <laughs> though tempted. Um, thank you all so much. This concludes our program and we really appreciate you, especially the panelists sharing your time and talent and treasure with all of us today. When you close this window, there will be a quick four question survey and we would super appreciate if you can provide any feedback. Also, um, this was just one of two sessions being hosted today. So if you'd like to come to the next one, it starts here in about 20 minutes. And in about a week, you will be able to find the sessions recording as well as the other session recording. So it's at strivescan.com backslash Friar Blazers. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your afternoon and take care.